Hi guys, it's Shishkabobber1 coming right back at you with an all new Boom Beach video. Well, looky there, ladies and gentlemen, what have we done? We've hit rank 24. And how did we do it? We did it with basically a heavy chopper rush, and that's the whole point of this video. We're going to show you how it's done 7 1 HCRC style. Um, go ahead and take that chest right now. Thank you very much. I was waiting to collect it. And then, you know, we'll go into the tech tree. It's going to be a replay video. Um, just going to quickly recap what we did here. Um, I guess we should just jump into the tech tree to start. Um, now, as you see, uh, you know, basically everything's max. We still have flamethrowers for the multi-node. I kind of think cannons is a better choice like we spoke about last video. But um, it is what it is. I, you know, I don't even have the diamonds to switch it yet. So it's fine. And it, it works out a little bit better against Seeker players. I still see some of them at the level I'm at. So I don't mind it, but I would prefer cannons. Um, anyway, rabbit holes full. Everything's max. Troop damage, heavies, all that good stuff. GBE, we're rocking a total of 150. Brick is maxed. Um, and uh, let's see. What else, what else, what else, what else, what else? All the troop damage is good. We got 100 TD. We're at 150 DBD. I think I might have said that. And, um, right, we've got our Doom Cannon. We've got our Heavy Choppers. They're max. Rocket Choppers. They're max. Sky Shield. And we just recently picked up the Shock Launcher. Last night, we got the DBD. We were hoping that might help us push into 24. It didn't really. Uh, but now we picked up the Shock Launcher. And um, was, in terms of what we're doing now, we're just uh, trying to go forward over here into 7ER, and we want to get over to that juicy, juicy building health. That's basically the name of the game right now. So um, it's just a matter of saving. That's why, I mean, we can unlock the mechs. Um, but there's really no point in doing that right now, even though I know that's where I want to go. I mean, there might be some reason I would change my mind to pick up rockets, but I highly doubt it. Um... Anyway, we're just going to hold it, though. Opportunity is better. I don't need to spend it, so by holding it, it provides opportunity. Opportunity is always better. That's why we're not spending it. So, let's get into the hits, though. Um, let's see. I think there's a really good one to showcase. Is it this one? Okay, this one's kind of textbook, in my opinion, for how for how I like to run this hit. Um, let's just start with looking at the base. All right. Now, this is kind of a meta style that we see. ERs are spread out. Um, and he's got shock launchers. I don't recall if he had the 150 DBD or not. I want to say he did. Um, but it doesn't make much of a difference on this hit, to be honest. Um, the DBD hurts more on the Seekers, because it'll help melt them faster when the bullet's not around. Or Heavy Choppers. Um, but the point is, is we've got Shock Launchers, and it's hard to deal with when you're trying to do Heavy Rushing. So, the way we start all these hits, essentially, is we want to just free clear up around the sky shield that's over here and that way we don't have to waste any gbe taking it out and um, at the same time we'll end up free clearing down to the shock launcher so we don't really have to worry about it and uh, we will go ahead and bard out this doom cannon because doom cannons can be a real pain especially if they're at 150 dbd and um so that's one barrage two artillery it just barely takes that second artillery, but it does. If, if the Doom Cannon's ever near anything else that you're splashing and it takes like an extra rocket or two, uh, you'll only need one artillery, just FYI. But um, the trick is how to get everybody up here, how to make sure Brick doesn't step on the mines. And keep in mind, we're using one rocket chopper. I'll get into more of the math behind that later, but the basic idea is by bringing one rocket chopper with us, it's got DPS right out of the gate. We don't have to wait for heavies to drop out of the heavy choppers. And it's also not affected by the uh, by the shock launcher. Now you say, well, maybe you should bring more rocket choppers. No, it's still primarily a heavy bus rush type of a hit. So we're bringing seven buses instead of eight. But again, I like the extra rocket chopper for that initial DPS. And with having all the chaos of seven heavy choppers and all the heavies that come from it, it's very likely that it survives to the end of the hit or very near the end of the hit. And that's also advantageous too, you know. Um, and again, not affected by shock launchers. So, um, for the drop, let's just get into the mechanics of the hit. For the drop, what we're going to do is we're going to drop two heavy choppers on the uh, top side of this, this ramp. So, they're, they're, they are there to take care of these boom mines. Then, five heavy choppers come and they're dropped off in this vicinity near the uh, mortar and cannon. All right. Then, we, uh, we drop brick and we throw a flare. That's going to get everybody moving. As soon as that's done, we also drop the rocket chopper. And as you'll see, it leaves plenty of space for everyone to move through. So here's the drop. Brick is out. Here comes the flare. There's the rocket chopper. And you see, everyone's moving along quite nicely. Go ahead and speed that up just a smidge. And we get everybody up there and we free clear. Now, 
were barding out that Doom Cannon were also... Yeah, this is the other part I didn't mention. So, the, the way this hit works, the mechanic of this hit is we free clear this ER right here on the tail, and then um, some of the junk down here, including this ER. We barred out this one, as you see we're working on it right now, two barrage for artillery. Then, it's a mad dash across the deck. We're going to have battle orders coming across to this ER, we'll have battle orders again coming to this ER, and we'll have battle orders coming to this final ER. How do we deal with the shock launcher? Shock it. Simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. So let's just watch the hit play out. Now, we're still collecting the GBE we need right now. And we're also getting that shock launcher out. See, everyone's fanned out. The shock doesn't do much to us. Now, here we go. There's the flare. There's the battle orders. Now, we're flaring. Another battle orders. Here comes the shock. Flare. There's the battle orders. I think I just overlapped it, but it's there. And boom. Just like that with a 251. And um, that's the mechanics. So let's get into the uh, the math real quick on this. I want to show you something. A couple of things I want to talk about. Um, heavies. First of all, let's look at their health, okay? I ran into a SEMO base the other day that had a SEMO, and I was just running, well, like a hit like this with heavies and brick. And I didn't know, is the SEMO going to hit the heavy or is it going to hit brick? I kind of assume maybe the heavy has more health. They, they don't. They have less. Check it out. Heavies have 5,034. You just have to look at base. Everyone's modified the same. So 5,034 base health on the heavies. A max brick has 5,560. Now, if she's not maxed, you need to check it for yourself. But I'm assuming if you're playing with brick, she is maxed. So the SEMO will target the heavy over brick. Assuming she's not damaged and assuming it's not bugged, right? And assuming there's a heavy for it to target. A lot of assumptions. But it was a key point to make because it affected my strategy in the hit. I really tried to protect brick way more than I should have. You know, we don't have critters, right? So um, keep that in mind. Now, the other thing we want to talk about with heavies is their damage, okay? They do 144 damage per second. Now, keep in mind the heavy chopper essentially drops 10 heavies once every 6 seconds. So 10 heavies would be 1440 damage per second. You following me on all this? Okay. 1440 DPS on the 10 heavies. A rocket chopper on the other hand, has 1,456 DPS, all right? So, a rocket chopper by itself does more than 10 heavies, or it's pretty much equivalent, let's just say, in terms of DPS, just pure DPS. Now, uh, the heavy chopper itself does do damage, let's not neglect it, it does 290, which is basically the equivalent of two heavies, okay? So, a heavy chopper is doing the damage of two heavies, and of course, when a heavy chopper dies, it drops six heavies. But just try to keep everything in terms of the scale of heavies. Now, this is why we bring the rocket chopper, especially why. Because at the start of the hit, you know, I mean, it takes forever for a heavy chopper to ramp up to the damage potential of a rocket chopper. It takes eight heavies, essentially, because it's eight heavies plus the DPS of the heavy chopper. And that's 48 seconds, you know? So this is why we bring that one rocket chopper, just to really help uh, plow through. And as you saw in that last hit, it survived all the way through. Um, Let's take a look at another one, because not all the bases are the same. Um, let's look at this guy. Let's see. I don't remember these hits. Well, that's kind of the same. So we know how that goes, more or less. Um, what about this one? Also kind of the same. You see there's a meta here. Uh, well, we lost on this guy. He had a good base. Was this something different, though? He was a 25. Pretty much the same thing. It's a standard hit. Um... This was a Seeker Fizzle. Good old Ooro. Um, now, okay, this was different, though. So I'll show you how we did it. And we still had a good time. Um, I don't recall what it was. Uh, 2.43, maybe? I, I don't know. Uh, or something like that. 2.45. But uh, So it's different. Sky Shield's over here. But we're going to do the same approach, okay? We're going to free clear to get GBE. We're going to bard out the Doom Cannon. And in this case, we're actually going to be barding out this ER on the tail over here. And then we just free clear our way through here and heavy rush down just kind of make this little inner loop all right that's how this hit's gonna go um, oh this time we did use two rocket choppers we cheated a little bit but i mean i think you know why it was we probably could have actually just used more but it didn't matter i'm just sticking with the theme now the reason why i'm using so many heavy choppers well a couple reasons one with brick and battle orders it does really well otherwise brick she's very useless on um hcrc hits in general i know People that run 2.6 or 3.5 HCRC, they tend to use Brick with Cluster Grenade, and that may or may not provide some opportunities for, for damage. But with this, she's moving that entire pack of heavies, 
And, um, you know, they do a heck of a lot of damage there at the end. So we tend to save our battle orders for when the heavies are present near the end of the hit. And this also utilizes Brick, I think, in a much better fashion than um, Cluster Grenade. And it's one of the reasons why I think I have a lot of success with a lot of heavy choppers. The other reason is, it's, let's just be honest, it's an easy hit, essentially, right? Technically, right? It's much easier. But this is very good when it comes to grinding. Because when you're grinding hits, do you want to have something that's mentally taxing and mentally burdensome? No. You want to have simple methodology that's repeatable that provides decent results. And I mean, as my log shows, it works. And a lot of these losses, um, okay, this was a close one. He got me by five seconds, probably just a bad hit. This guy outranked me, as you see, by quite a bit. We only lost by two seconds. Um, I can show you that hit. It's probably the same type of, yeah, same type of jazz, but I'll show you. This one might not have gone down quite as well as the one we were showcasing, but you can see the drop. You start with the two for the mines, then you do the other five, you drop brick, then you flare. Then you drop the rocket chopper. That generally gets everyone in here safely. Let's double time it. We might have lost the rocket chopper on this. Sometimes we do lose it. I think... No, we didn't lose it on this one. It does kind of suck when we lose it early. It's totally okay to lose it after the second ER goes down. Its usefulness is pretty much outlived because this is the battle order phase, right? We wanted to make sure the shock was down and we had enough GB to get the ER. And then we just start the rush. Did we shock this one? Oh, I think we just completely ignored this. This is where we were still learning how to deal with the shocks. This was the ignore approach. We discovered, hey, it works better when you shock. Everything's a progression, right? So, um, we were, you know, everything you just, you learn from your hits, you learn from the GBE, all that stuff. And of course we have max barrage artillery, 150 GBE. So you kind of need all that to make these things work, but they produce pretty decent times. I mean, ro rolling through my log, 241, 243, 247, 251, 246, 241, 247, uh, whatever that was, and 243. So it works. And this is why I want to showcase it. So I think we'll break it down with that, um, or we'll just end it with that. And um, there's there's one more thing to mention, though, in the tech tree. And uh, it's just the virtue of why we are picking building health. Um, over here, might be a little hard to see with how I've got the screen formatted. Yeah, we're going to building health over rockets. It should be kind of obvious because rocket launchers don't do a lot to stop these hits. And for the tech that's available and for the time remaining in the season... Um, it, building health is clearly the best thing. It's the lowest hanging fruit, or it's going to give us the most bang for the buck, right? In terms of slowing people down. Now, the 70R um, layout does have two ramps. Access is a little different. Um, either way, neither deck is really easy to defend, six or seven. They're both wide open for, for steamrolling, right? Um, so, yeah. I mean, HCRC is the final meta so far from what we've been seeing. Just kind of like predicted. I'm really going heavy on the heavy buses, but it works. So why not? And with that, we're going to wrap it up. Hope you guys have a super fantastic, awesome rest of your day. And remember, like always, be kind to others. Because if you're not, you're just being mean and mean people suck. Take care.